My grandparents passed away when I was 11, um, about eight months between each other. So much of my experience with them kind of shaped who I am now. It's been about half my life that I've spent without them and half my life that I spent with them. So it's kind of at this weird turning point that the older I get, the less time I've spent with them. A few weeks ago, I took Haley Naylor to Orangeville with me. It feels weird. It does feel really weird. Especially because Flynn's never been here before. I remember Ruby used to recognize it. Are you, uh, filming? I'm filming. I like filmed just I'm filming. It's been recording. This, is, this has changed hands a lot. The Rothwells are probably not here. This is the house. There's holes in it. Oh, they, the hedge is completely gone. The hedge is gone. The tr no, the tree's still there. Which one is it? This one. Right this one with here? the tree. Are there holes? There's holes in the wall. Wow, that's not weird. Why are there holes? Or are they supposed to be fish? No, they're fish. They're like okay. wire fish on the side. What does that mean? Okay, let's just keep going. I don't get stuck here. Thank you very much. Just go straight up the road. No, 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 no. It stays outside, Ellie. It does? Yep, for next time it snows. Oh! Haley takes on Orangeville. Then let's go inside! Woohoo! Okay, well, let's go. <laughs> I'm just filming and going inside. It's the Winter Wonderland! Where are we, Ellie? We're at Danny and Grampy's! Where's that? I take a lot of road trips with my parents. Um, I've always sat in the back and took pictures. Bringing someone else in on our road trips, something that's very sacred to me and my family, um, it's very interesting and different and new. And I always thought of bringing people on our road trips, but we rarely actually do it. And so bringing someone in on my family and making, you know, them as comfortable as I am with my parents, I think that's always nice. Wait till she tells Daddy off. Talk to her, Daddy. Grandpa. Hey. Talk to her, Grandpa. Allie. Don't just watch a pussycat again. Look at pussycat coming. And it's interesting how so much of your life can be affected by, you know, just the loss of two people and then the subsequent changes that happen afterwards. Um, it changes, but it stays the same in a weird way. My grandmother used to smoke in the basement um, and do puzzles. And basically, the smoking was what killed her. And when my grandfather passed away, apparently, he was telling a joke. Um, he was in the middle of telling a joke and didn't finish. I don't remember a time, uh, you know, not going to Orangeville. It's always been a part of my life. Even after my grandparents have passed away. And... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. It's different on my dad's side because um, we don't have, I don't know, I don't have as much of a special bond with Burlington as I do with Orangeville. I think with Orangeville, we went out and did things in the city. I mean, not that it's very big, but we'd go out and uh, go shopping. We'd visit the same secondhand stores every time. I think it's interesting how those kind of places can still stay with you, you know, both in memory and physically. All right. Okay, <laughs> shut off the video. Okay, say cut. Cut. <laughs>